One of the most vicious strikers in WWE history. You're right, Cole, but he's also one of the most charismatic stars in WWE history, too. The following contest is a triple threat extreme rules match and is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. A promising young talent with a lot of swagger. And introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. I hate to parrot a catchphrase, but Melo really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE. Time for Mello to make that money. This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title. History for the United States Championship being added to in this treacherous Extreme Rules match with Shinsuke Nakamura, Carmelo Hayes, and Austin Theory. Superstars are willing to push themselves in a normal Extreme Rules match, but adding a championship into the mix, they have to turn it up to 11. Oh, what? Uh oh. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. There's the takedown. Matt holds back Theory's attack. Nice drop kick. What a counter. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. All right. And now getting the ladder in place on the ring apron. And don't sleep on how dangerous a spot that is for a ladder. Oh. Oh. Hey, man. 
Undertaker connects. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Kick to the gut. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. The sheer confidence of Carmelo Hayes taking over a little. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. He's got the table, and I can only imagine what he's thinking of doing with it. Looking for something, anything under the ring. No muss, no fuss on that. Oh, by the challenger! And they kick out at two. He really thought that was it. And went up high. He's back into the ring. And Corey, a superstar's odds of winning in a triple threat match are significantly less than usual, correct? Well, my Steiner math's a little rusty, but that is my general understanding. Yes, you need to be fully aware of your surroundings to keep your chances up. High knee right between the shoulders. And what's he looking for here? Oh, man, he grabbed the kendo stick. Everyone needs to watch out now. Continues. Springboard. Oh, my. Snapman takeover. Oh, my. Theory is out of the way. Close line. Up with their head. Reversal from Nakamura. something planned with this table, guys. I don't want to know. Drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. <laughs> oh, the Enziguri. He had it scouted. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. No, no, no. The table and the body getting really acquainted there. Can only imagine the damage that impact just did. 
I doubt this will go on for much longer. Up to the body with the chair. Looking to tee off with that kendo stick. Best to get out of the way. That move by across the line. He steps foot in the ring again. Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that.
match right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. Uh-oh. Carmelo now trying to capitalize. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Suplex off the top rope. Oh, suplex. Drop in the elbow. Oh no. I see blood coming from Fury's face today. And more attacks up there. Could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. Returning to the ring. Oh, what a plus. Theory's hopes are waiting. Yeah, some flaws in Theory's game plan are showing. Fends off the attack with an elbow. And Hayes is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Hayes is being tested and was finally able to get some offense of his own in. And you can see the anguish coming through. Usually the adrenaline of competing masks how hurt you really are, but the pain is being really manifesting itself. He's got the answer for that one. Here he's looking for a win in the now with of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. And for a silver spoon kid like Theory, you have to think he's getting more frustrated by the second. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. 
He's going for it all. He climbs into the ring. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Austin Theory hoisting him up. Didn't see it coming. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Climbs back inside. <laughs> Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. Ah, oh, this should have been over, but he breaks the hold. Just in the nick of time. Just breaking down the opponent. And A's turning it around. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Look to the gut. I have a theory what's coming next. Just malicious. That's disrespectful. A kendo stick wrapped around the head. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Mello reminding his opponent that he don't miss. Uh oh. Shot block, debilitating counter. Shifts it back onto him. <laughs> he is delivering elbow after elbow. <laughs> and Carmelo gets stifled. Right to the kidneys from behind. Reciprocating the initial. 
partial reversal. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Metal reminding his opponent that he don't miss. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Toss back into the ring. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but you have to keep your head on a swivel in a match like this. And our winner did just that.